Hello everybody, it's me, Pafini here from Buff Performance. We're going to take you through a nice movement circuit. Movement uh, is the fundamentals of keeping ourselves physically healthy for a long period of time. So it's important to get this right. This is a gift from us to you to help you recover over the next few days and add to your training plan or your fitness activity levels during the week. So let's get started. You don't need any equipment. All you might want to use is a mat for the floor. Um, and if you would like to use any weights, that's totally up to you. You can use them as you go. You don't have to have sets of weights equally. You can also use water bottles filled up. I'm going to have two 6 kg weights. If you have those, you can use them as well. Okay. But obviously everything can be done as a body weight movement. We're going to focus on fundamentals. So we're going to have a look at, we're going to have a look at squatting, hip hinging, lunging, push and pull both upper body. And then we're going to finish off with a nice flexibility circuit towards the end. So I hope you enjoy and please follow through with the circuit. So to start warming up, we're going to step back with our right leg into a reverse lunge position. Pop the back knee on the floor. What we're going to do here is our right arm comes across the front of our body, presses into the side of the front knee, and we're going to rotate our opposite arm behind us, looking around as we go also. And hold this here for five, four, three, two, one. Come back around, keeping yourself as steady as possible. We're going to change out that leg now and bring the right leg forward, keeping it steady, left arm across the outside of that knee. Opposite arm out behind us and rotate. Hold it steady for five, four, three, two, one. One, excellent. Come back around. We're going to come up to a stand now, guys, so carefully stand up. We're going to take about four feet distance to our stance. One, two, three, four, face the toes forward. What we're going to do from here is sit the hips back and we're going to os oscillate side to side with a lateral lunge, keeping those hips far back as possible. And sitting that knee joint down in line with the hip pressing those heels into the floor, coming back up. And you're going to try and do this for 10 reps. Nice and slow, taking your time, keeping that posture, upper body, vertical. Two, and one. Come on up, heel, toe, to bring the feet back in, gradually. All right, from here now, we're going to work on our reverse lunge. So hands back up in the center in front of the chest, right leg back. We're going to reverse lunge back and then Change sides as we go. We're going to go for 10 reps again. Four, five, keeping that upper body steady. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely stuff. Okay, working on this upper body now, guys. We're going to bring our shoulders up and rotate them back, keeping them nice and relaxed on the way down. Bring them all the way up towards the earlobes, around the back, around the world, as I like to say. Now go forward, so we're going to bring them up and forward. And relax them down. Excellent. Okay, so working on the head now, we're going to separate out the joints. We're going to do the yes to no position. So looking back and bring the chest forward. Keeping the posture steady. Opening up all the joints, getting the synovial fluid moving. Three, two, last one. Bring your head back to center. Now we're going to look left and right. So try not to force your neck into any of these movements. Just gently bring your gaze around to the side. Three, two, one. Now you're going to bring your hands out in front, clap them together. We're going to point our finger up one hand and we're going to rotate around, keeping the opposite side forward. We're going to create a T and open up that chest. Same arm, and we're going to wrap it around for six, five, bring it back to center, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, let's go with the opposite side now. So straighten out that one, point the finger, rotate for six. Try to keep this steady arm as steady as possible in line with your shoulder. Four, 
Looking around a little bit more as you go. Three, two, and one. Relax the shoulders down. Well done. Okay, we're going to bring our right arm now up above the head. We're going to take hold of our right wrist with the opposite arm. Hold it up nice and steady up overhead. What we're going to do from here is just gently lean to one side, opening up the rib cage, pulling in the belly button, and back up to center, opposite side, opposite wrist, over to the right side, opening up the rib cage, and back around again from the side. We're not moving our hips. I'm making sure to move just the upper body, hips stay steady. One more each side. Breathe through it. And reach, 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 and back up. Excellent. Bring the arms down. Okay, good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the stance to about just above or outside of your hip width apart. We're going to bring the hands to support the back, so fingertips to the back. We're going to start creating big circles with our hips, keeping the legs straight. Around to the right for six, and around to the left for six. Really opening up these hip joints. Getting the fluid moving, oxygenated blood around the body. Okay, so we're going to widen our stance a little bit more now. We're going to bring our right arm up above the head, left arm down by your side, sliding it up and down your lap. And we're going to reach over without moving the hips. Hold it here for a second. Come back up slowly, change sides. Reach down to the side of that other hand and slowly change over. Keep going. Breathe on the effort. Exhale on the effort. Breathe in on the way up. Last one each side. Last one on the left. Okay, good. Come back up. Keep the feet where they are, guys. We're going to create a star shape. This time we're going to hinge the hips back, keeping the legs straight. I'm going to reach to the right toes, reach to the left toes, reach to the right, and change as you go for 10 reps. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then the knees slowly come on. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to move down to the floor now for a little bit of mobility work. So in your space, you're going to come down onto your, into the tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, guys. What we're going to do from here is extend the right arm and left leg. This is called a bird dog. Gotta make sure we keep the back nice and flat. Reaching out with the arm first, if you've never done this before, leaning to one side, we're gonna bring up the left leg, opposite side. Hold it for a split second. Bring it down, keeping the back nice and flat. Change sides. And change again. And try to transition really gently, really slowly. Reaching as far as you can with that spine. Really elongating your hips, shoulders, spine. Breathe through it. One more each side. And last one. And down. Uh, staying in this position now, we're going to focus on the T spine. Okay, so if you come up onto the fists, palms facing towards each other. And what we do here is we lower our shoulders so that the T spine or your shoulder blades come together at the back. And then we press them away, pushing into the ground, pressing them away. And we're not arching our whole back fully. We're just focusing on the T spine, dipping down, pressing together, press the fists into the floor, separation with the T spine. We do six more, five more. There will be a slight bend in the elbows. Four more, three. Keeping the lower back as steady as possible. Two and one. Let's come down to the flat of the hands. So you're up on the ball of the feet. What we're going to do from here is just walk the hands out further and our shoulders. And we're going to drop the elbows and forearms down towards the floor, keeping those hips up nice and high. Let's really press the hips back and let those shoulders drop down as well. Child pose, really getting the full impact of that stretch. If you train a lot of upper body, it should feel quite nice, relieving. Now we're going to bring the hands without lifting up too much. We're going to walk the hands over to the left hand side, pressing those hips back again. Three, two, one. Let's walk them over to the right hand side, pressing the hips back. Still elbows, forearms, palms of the hands on the floor. Back to centre. Slowly just take the weight into your hands. We're going to drop the hips forward now, keeping the legs nice and straight. 
And we're going to just go into this cobra position, hold it nice and strong, gradually dropping the belly button down towards the floor and pressing back up into that flex position. Six reps. Five. Looking forward with your gaze, you don't have to over stretch your gaze up. Four. Three. Two. And one. And bend the knees, bend the hips back. Excellent. Okay. So, last but not least, guys, we're going to go into a nice squatting position. So, wide the stance about four feet apart. Toes facing at a level and one. We're going to track those knees outwards. If you need support, you can hold on to something in front of you, like the back of a chair or a counter. We're going to try and sit the hips down as low as we can, going for 10 reps with that squat position. Sit the hips back, hands out front. Two, one, let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's toe, heel, toe, heel. Now we can introduce some weight. So we're going to do the same exercise. You can bring in and introduce a set of dumbbells, or if you wish to just use water bottles equally, that's fine. Wide the stance, nice and wide toe, strapping out the same again. Ten reps, two, one, sit the hips back for ten. Heels right back into the floor. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the toe, heel in. Good stuff, well done. Okay, now we're going to do a narrow squat. So we're going to keep the feet in line with the shoulders, sitting down and back up, just like a little deadlift, okay? Ten reps, two, one, let's go for ten, pressing into those heels, nine. Eight equally, do these as body weight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, you can half close, weights down, guys. So there's plenty of fundamental movement for you to work on. The last one we're going to have a look at is a press on the chair. And what we're going to do here is press the chest down and up for 10 reps, two times through. Ready? Getting steady shoulders over the wrists. Two, one, let's go for 10. Back and low, core, elbows back. Six, five. Stay strong. Three, two, and one. Take a little break before we go into the second circuit. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your arms. So push, pull, squat, lunge, hip, hinge are all fundamental movements. And as athletes or as fitness enthusiasts, it's always a good idea to load up with these exercises with weights. It just allows you to be a bit more efficient and proficient at the sports that you're doing. Okay, so last set of press ups, guys. And then we'll stretch down. Two, four, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay in against your chair, you're going to bring your left leg forward with a bent knee, getting a nice stretch on that back leg. Three, two, one, and then opposite side. Toe the chair on the wall, keeping the back heel nice and flexed. Getting a really long stretch. Two, one, then again. Very last one. Let's pop the toes up against the wall. We're going to bring them up as far as we can, getting a nice calf stretch there. And last but not least, change sides. Two, one, and relax. Excellent stuff, guys. Well done. Always very useful to know how to load up and dynamically use fundamental movement. I hope you enjoyed that circuit. For best results, maybe do it two times through in one day. Well done, and I will talk to you soon, guys. Bye.